What's up everyone? We're here at Great Escape Games in Sacramento to play the classic game Settlers of Catan. The game was first released in 1995 and it allows three to four players. The first person to win 10 victory points wins the game. The way you can gather 10 victory points is by creating roads, cities and settlements in Catan. The way to gather all these resources in order to build your settlements and cities is to gather resources. The resources can be obtained depending on what dice is rolled. For example, if a player rolls six dice, they are entitled to the producing of the hex numbered fields of that number. For example, this settler will receive a brick and these two settlers will receive a sheep. For players in order to gather and build their settlements and cities, they have to use a building cost. So they have to use roads, settlements or cities, and depending on what each resource is needed, they can settle those items in Catan. Along with this, they can buy what's called development cards. Development cards can give off three different things. One is an actual victory point, or progress cards, which states specifically what that settler can do in Catan. There's also what's known as the night card. The night card I'll explain later, but for now, I'll explain the robber. The robber in Catan is activated when the player rolls a number seven. When a number seven is rolled, the player decides which hex field to insert the robber. Depending on what hex field they enter, they will take a card from that settler and take a resource card. Additionally, any players with more than eight cards on their hand must discard half their deck. The knight card can be used to also activate the robber. When a robber is activated, they reap, they reap the benefits of a robber, but they do not force the player to get rid of more than eight cards on their deck. Settlements and cities can be set up on the hex field anywhere any intersections on the hex field. There is, however, a distance rule, and that means that a city or settlement must be at least one intersection away from another city or settlement, and they must be connected by roads. Um, each settlement is worth one victory point and produces one resource, and each city produces two victory points and two resources. There are two different ways that you can gain victory points in Catan. The first way is by gaining Longest Road. The player gains this title if they produce more than five connecting roads on Catan. The second way is by gaining the Largest Army title. This can be gained if a player uses more than three development night cards and they keep this title, both of these titles, until somebody else gets more road and more armies. You're all set up now to play Catan. So first, let's roll for the highest player. The player with the highest number goes first, and that player will first decide where they will settle their first settlement. They decide wherever they go, and then the rest of the players will go clockwise. When the last player has built their first settlement, that same player will build their second settlement, and then the rest of the players will do the same thing counterclockwise. Now, depending on where you start your second settlement, that's gonna be your first set of resources that you will receive, so choose wisely. Once everybody's established their first two settlements, you can now start Catan. The way to start the gameplay is, during a turn, players can choose two different things. First, either roll the dice to produce the resources, or play a development card. Their second choice is to either build their roads, cities, and settlements, or purchase development cards, and the last thing that they can do is initiate trading with the other settlers. The second piece can be done in any order, but first, if a player is not going to play a development card, they have to roll in order to produce resources. There are countless ways to set up Catan and many different ways the game can go. You're all set up to play Catan, so gather your friends and find out who will win. I am Katniss Caldo from Sacramento, and I am one with 25. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave some love by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe here at ABC Digital Nest so you don't miss any of our upcoming features.